and this is Joshua with Grover. Yeah, buddy buddies. Surprise, surprise. That's a male better. And don't worry about his tail. That's just Joshua. He gets feisty. It's been a while. He's still... I don't know if he's going to stay like that or what. But these two have been together for a little while with this trick. Yeah, you can see. Grover actually puts his antennas on to Joshua, and Joshua's not doing anything. He's just curious. How about that? That's Joshua, that's Grover going to the surface, eating from the surface. There's duckweed in there, and I feed, I feed Joshua earlier, earlier in the morning. So he comes up, and he's getting stuff he wants. This is a mystery snail. They're very interesting creatures. And he's big. That's Joshua coming right up to him and not bothering him. This is not normal. This is not normal. Normally I have another male betta. He would be pecking at him. He'll even eat his antennas. Joshua is a very, very different male betta. Very different. Very interesting stuff here. And there goes Grover the other way now. He's turned around. Okay, thought you'd want to see this. A little bit of an update. Oh, here comes Grover. He's coming back. Yeah, you can see he's got big antennas. And Joshua's not bothering him. Yeah, Grover probably doing a trick. He'll parachute sometimes. Sorry about the jiggling, but uh, they move pretty good. There he goes back to the surface. That's duckweed on Grover. That green stuff, that's duckweed. There goes Josh. Okay. See you later. There goes all the way to the bottom. See? That's Grover, man. That's what Grover does like he's a parachuter just let's go come sailing down on his way okay I'll say bye bye again